Welcome to the Dairy Farm of the Wild. Step right up, friends, and behold the wondrous world of lactation. As any self-respecting lactation expert will tell you, breast milk is more than just a meal. It's a veritable concoction of essential nutrients that are critical for a baby's growth and development. From fats and proteins to carbohydrates and protective factors, breast milk is like a superhero serum for vulnerable little ones, helping them fight off harmful microbes and flourish in the big, bad world. But here's the kicker, breast milk isn't just a human thing. Oh no, my friends, all mammals produce their own special blends of milk, tailored to their baby's specific needs. And let me tell you, some of these blends are downright extreme. Now get ready to be utterly amazed as we delve into the creamy world of the animal kingdom's most impressive lactation feats. Sit back, grab a glass of milk, or your favorite dairy alternative, and let's milk this topic for all it's worth. Get ready to meet the champion of the milk world, the hooded seal. These mighty mothers produce milk that makes even the creamiest of ice creams look like skim milk. With a whopping 60% fat content, hooded seal milk is the ultimate indulgence for seal pups everywhere. You see, hooded seals live in some of the harshest conditions on the planet, the freezing waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. Talk about a tough neighborhood. To make matters worse, these little ones are born on floating ice, not exactly the coziest of nurseries. So what's a mother seal to do? Well, she only has four days to feed her pups, so she makes it count. Each day, those hungry little pups can suck down a whopping 16.6 pounds of milk, talk about a milk moustache. By the time they're weaned, they've almost doubled in weight, thanks to all that high fat goodness. And why all the fat? It's not just for flavor. That blubber layer the pups put on is essential for surviving in their icy habitat. It helps keep them warm and toasty in the frigid waters and protects them from the harsh elements. Plus, let's be real, a little extra cushion never hurt anyone. So there you have it, the secret to the hooded seal's success. It just goes to show you that sometimes, a little indulgence can go a long way. Let's talk about the black rhinoceros, the proud owner of the skimmest milk in the animal kingdom. While human breast milk has a modest 3-5% to fat content, a rhino mom's milk is almost watery, with just 0.2% fat. But before you start judging, hear this, it's all part of their slow reproductive cycle. Black rhinos can only reproduce once they reach the ripe old age of 4-5 to five years. Their pregnancies are almost a year long, and they give birth to only one calf at a time. And then the real work begins, as they spend almost two years nursing their young. A study in 2013 found that animals who nurse for extended periods tend to have lower levels of fat and proteins in their milk. It makes sense, really. If a female were to lactate for a few years and continuously invest a ton of nutrients into her milk, it wouldn't be very sustainable in the long run. That's why black rhinos have such low-fat milk. Don't worry, though, it's still chock full of essential nutrients to help their young thrive. Move over, sugar-loaded energy drinks, the Tama wallabies have got you beat. These adorable marsupials from down under produce milk with a whopping 14% sugar content, double that of human milk. But that's not all, the sugar in their milk isn't your ordinary lactose. Tama wallaby milk is packed with oligosaccharides, complex sugars that may play a role in protecting the joey's gut from harmful microbes. But wait, there's more. Tama wallabies, like many marsupials, have a nifty trick up their sleeves, or rather, in their nipples. They can produce different types of milk depending on the age of their joeys. One nipple can provide a high sugar milk for the younger joey, while another can provide a higher protein and fat content for the older sibling. Talk about a versatile milk bar. 
As lactation expert Amy Skibel puts it, it's quite incredible that they are capable of producing two entirely different milks that are suited for the stage that that young is in. Move over whey protein shakes, the Eastern Cottontail Rabbit's milk might just give you a run for your money. With a whopping 15% protein content, this is the most protein-rich milk known to science. But why all the protein? It turns out, species that leave their young unattended for long stretches of time, like Cottontail Rabbit's, produce milk with high levels of both fats and proteins. This helps the young pups compensate for the periods when their mothers are off foraging, by consuming a denser, nutrient-rich milk during those short nursing sessions. And it pays off, with these rabbit babies maturing quickly and becoming self-sufficient after just a few weeks of suckling their mother's milk. So, next time you see a cotton-tail rabbit hopping around, remember, it's not just cute, it's got some serious gains. Why drink cow's milk when you could have pig's milk? Well, it's not a question of taste, but rather of practicality. While pig milk is comparable to cow milk in terms of proteins and sugars, so teats are far less conducive to milking than cow's others. With 14 small teats compared to a cow's 4 large nipples, milking a pig would require some serious patience. Plus, sows eject milk in short bursts that only last up to a minute, so you'd have to be very dedicated to collect a significant amount of milk. Despite these challenges, one farm in the Netherlands has managed to produce pig milk cheese, a rare and expensive delicacy. Who knows, maybe someday pig milk will be as commonplace as cow milk. Until then, we'll just have to settle for our cow cheese. move over mammals, it turns out that some birds are also in on the milk-making game. Pigeons, for example, produce a special milk-like substance called crop milk to feed their adorable little squawks. Unlike mammalian milk production, both male and female pigeons can produce crop milk. This milky substance is made in a small sack at the base of the pigeon's throat called the crop, which usually stores and moistens food. Once a squab is born, the pigeon regurgitates the crop milk into the baby bird's mouth. But what's in pigeon milk, you might ask? Well, it's high in proteins and fats, along with some essential minerals and nutrients. It's not just pigeons, though. Flamingos and emperor penguins are also known to produce crop milk for their young. Who knew that the world of milk making extended beyond just mammals? Milk of spider? Really? Yes, according to a study published today in the journal Science, a jumping spider native to southeastern Asia does the same thing. Toxius magnus has been found to suckle its babies with a nutritious fluid secreted by its own body. The liquid contains a solution of sugars, fats, and proteins, so the researchers, led by conservation biologist Rui Chang Quan of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, are calling it milk. The spiderlings ingest nutritious milk droplets secreted from the mother's epigastric furrow until the subadult stage. If blocked from obtaining milk, the newly emerged spiders will stop development and die within 10 days, showing that milk is indispensable for offspring survival in the early stage. Human milk is known for its low fat, low protein, and high sugar content, which is similar to most other primate milk. But did you know that humans tend to nurse their babies for longer periods of time, just like black rhinoceroses? It turns out that the longer nursing period means that humans invest fewer energy-rich nutrients into their milk. Who knew we had so much in common with rhinos? But before we pat ourselves on the back too much, let's remember that human milk still has its mysteries. For example, it contains complex sugars called oligosaccharides, which are thought to play a role in fortifying human infants. 
we're only just beginning to understand these sugars and their potential benefits. And while we're doing all this research on human milk, we should keep in mind that we only know the milk compositions of 5% of mammals. So who knows what other milk marvels are out there? So there you have it, a glimpse into the wild world of lactation. The animal kingdom never ceases to amaze us with their extreme milks, from the protein-rich milk of the eastern cotton-tailed rabbit to the salty and creamy pig's milk cheese. While we still have much to learn about milk compositions of other species, one thing is certain, the diversity and ingenuity of the animal kingdom never cease to fascinate us. And hey, maybe by studying how and why milk differs across species, scientists can even find new ways to help human babies grow and develop. Science is pretty wild, huh? Who knew milk could be so extreme? So next time you enjoy a glass of cow's milk, take a moment to appreciate the incredible variety of milks out there in the wild, waiting to be discovered. And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.